Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome into the generate $10,000 in new landscaping projects in less than 30 days using 100% free online marketing methods webinar. We're going to wait here just a couple minutes and get going. Just let the room fill up. We will uh, get going here in just a couple minutes. Let everyone come in. Usually there's a big rush and can kind of slow things down. So we're just going to wait a couple minutes, let everyone get in, and then we're going to get started. Alrighty guys, welcome into the webinar, how to generate $10,000 in new landscaping sales in the next 30 days using 100% free online methods. We're going to get started right now. It's about Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome into another entrepreneurship webinar how to generate $10,000 in new landscaping sales in the next 30 days using 100% free online marketing methods. You guys fired up? Give me an X if you're fired up. Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome into another entrepreneurship webinar. Brand new one going. Alrighty guys, we are going to get started. What is going on? Welcome to another entrepreneurship webinar, how to generate $10,000 in new landscaping sales in the next 30 days using 100% free online marketing methods. Give me an X in the chat box if you guys are fired up. Let me know if you are ready to start learning some sweet stuff to put right into your business and go out there and make a ton of money. Or if you're brand new, take this and get started and get your first jobs and first sales coming in. It looks like the X's are just flooding in. Jason, Andy, Alex, Justin, Wyatt. Cool, 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 cool. So what is everyone's business status? So are you a beginner? Are you a veteran? Just like to know and kind of gauge the room just to see where everyone's at to kind of figure out how exactly we want to have all this stuff. So what is everyone's business status? Are you a beginner? Are you a veteran? Just like to see where everyone's at so we can kind of tailor things and, and make sure that our information that we're presenting here can help you as much as possible. So what is your business status? You guys beginners, you guys veterans, where are you from? Let's just see uh, where the room is all based in. It's just something cool to know so that way we can make sure that you guys get the most out of the content we present here. So Jason's from Texas, Wyatt is out of Florida. Justin's from Wisconsin. Andrew is from Washington State. Okay, cool. And a couple of beginners. Some of you guys are veterans. All right, cool. So we've got a mixed room. Very, very, very cool. So first things first is if you guys stay till the end, you get a copy of the project winning proposal with cover letter. This has generated over seven figures in lawn, landscape, and snow sales. You guys want that? Give me an X in the chat box if that sounds cool. But this is only if you stay until the very end and you've got to be active in participating in the 
webinar. Otherwise, you just are not going to get it. So if you're someone who comes on, leaves it, leaves your computer and goes watch the TV, not going to happen. Sorry. Sorry about that. That's not going to happen. Sorry, bud. That isn't going to be, uh, cut that. Oh, shit. Okay. All righty, guys. What is going on? Welcome to another entrepreneurship webinar. How to generate $10,000 in new landscaping sales in the next 30 days using 100% free online marketing methods. Give me an X if you guys are fired up. I'm sure a ton of you all are. You guys fired up? Go just give me an X in the chat box if you see. Are you guys fired up? Give me an X in the chat box if you're fired up and uh, let me know that you're ready to get going and wanting to learn some cool stuff to put into your business and go make more money or if you're brand new take it and put it into getting your business started and getting your first clients and getting your first sales. So it looks like Jason, Andy, Alex, bunch of X's coming through, Justin, Wyatt, Andrew, sweet. Alrighty, so guys, my big promise to you with this is that you will learn how to generate $10,000 in new landscaping projects, new clients coming in in the next month using 100% free online marketing methods. All you have to do is just have an internet connection, which you're here. So you obviously have one. And then at the end of this, you're going to learn exactly how to do all that. And then if so, you, and then if so, this workshop will have been a success. So what is everyone's business status? So you guys beginners, you guys veterans, just like to kind of gauge the room, see where everyone's at. Uh, looks like Andy's just getting going. Joe's been in business for a few years. Wyatt's been at it for about five years. Okay, so it's kind of a mixed bag. All right, very, very, very cool. All right, sweet. So, all right, here, guys, if you stay until the end, you will get a copy of the Project Wing Proposal with cover letter that has generated over seven figures in lawn, landscape, and snow sales. You guys want that? Give me an X if that sounds good, but only if you stay until the end. So, holy cow, look at the X's rolling in. Holy cow. So guys, first things first though, is you need to close everything else down. If you're not paying attention, none of this will be able to help you. If you're not paying attention, none of this will be able to help you. And basically what that means is turn off your Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, email, TV, phone, whatever it is. In order to get as much value as possible from this training, you have to be paying attention. So some of you may know me, some of you may not. And it looks like there's a lot of new names in here. So basically, uh, my name is Matt Wasik. I don't really talk a whole lot about this, but I've generated over seven figures in lawn, landscape, and snow sales. I'm going to show you how you can be on your way to do the same. So I got my start back in 2007, working for a local lawn company. I was just 15 years old at that time uh, and just really fell in love with doing the work. But then also more so the idea of becoming my own boss because the owner of that company worked out in the field with us cutting grass all day long. And long story short and, and fast forward a little bit, after graduating high school in 2009, I went to college to pursue accounting and finance with just the ever-present goal in my mind to start my own business and and really know the number side of things when it came to running the business because that's really one of the backbones to having a successful business. But got into college and, and spent some time there and I realized that it's not for me. Traditional college, I was absolutely miserable. So I transferred to a local tech school and studied horticulture and landscaping. And immediately at this point in time, I started my business about a couple of weeks after enrolling there and getting classes started. Started the business, registered. I had nothing to my name except my laptop. And I was working as an aircraft fueler. And while that might sound like it'd be a glorious job and high paying, it was about 10 bucks an hour. And this was back in 2011, very early 2011. So then over the course of the next five years, I grew that business to multiple six figures with months routinely generating over twenty five dollars to $30,000 with a big thanks to learning how to market my business online. This is one of the biggest things that set us apart. And this is what made, really made 
our life easier because we're able to continually bring in clients on a consistent basis. So some of the projects that we've done here, just some landscape installations and hardscape projects. Um, here's like a, well, this is a long story on this type of project here or on this particular one, because uh, there were two different companies working together because the previous company, the owner had been arrested on the job site and it was just some crazy ordeal thing. We ended up getting the job and, and wrapped it all up and finished it. The, the project was originally started in May and was supposed to be done within like three weeks. And we were contacted in September to come through and finish the job. So we didn't do the pergola and this little concrete slab was set up for an outdoor kitchen for another contractor to complete. Um, here's a just a freestanding wall with our sitting wall as well. And then with a circular patio and a walkway leading to it. A little bit of a grading project here and then installing mulch in a homeowners association commons area. And yes, the street was cleaned up for any of you guys that might be a little bit of uh, critics when it comes to making sure job sites look good. Yes, of course, we cleaned that up and made sure everything all looks good. And we also did maintenance as well uh, because I love doing maintenance, but it's one of those things where you got to do it at the right time. And we'll get into that later here in this webinar. But basically, uh, we... Uh, did maintenance because the recurring revenue aspect of things with landscape installations it's a one and done most of the time when it comes to the sale so you got to keep money coming in and have a predictable revenue makes things a lot less stressful and we also did snow removal because we were based in minnesota where it snows a decent amount sometimes it doesn't snow very much sometimes it snows a lot i uh, did residential and commercial when it came to snow removal so here's some cool shots of that probably taken while it was very, very cold out, and then I'd hurry up and run back to the truck to get back in. So, but really what all this, but the big takeaway with this is the way I was able to get all these jobs from my company was through online marketing. So in early 2015, I had started on, started taking on digital marketing clients. And then this was also the beginnings of Launchpreneurship, which is a big lawn, landscape, and snow business owner community. And at that point in time, it was called The Rookie's Guide. And really all I had at that point in time was uh, just a very, very small website, a little bit of a blog type of thing, if you will, and then uh, a couple digital books. But I got to the point, though, where my time was extremely stretched. I knew I could help more people with my digital marketing firm. So I ended up selling my landscaping business in early 2016 to pursue my digital marketing company and then create entrepreneurship into just a massive global community of outdoor service business owners. So I did a lot of things right. Things went good. We uh, were very profitable and had a good time doing it. However, we did a lot of things wrong. And after doing this for five plus years, for many lawn, landscape, and snow business owners, their biggest strength is not marketing. And one other thing I was able to figure out is that you can advertise your business effectively online without breaking the bank. You don't have to necessarily go out there and spend a thousand bucks a month with a marketing agency or something if you cannot afford it. And then that doesn't mean if you can't do that, that you are just screwed and you can't market online. And you also do not have to go out there and spend days upon days walking and distributing door hangers or flyers. And you can go out there and still generate a solid return on investment without having to do those things. But most, the biggest thing is that many owners, including myself, start out with buying a ton of equipment before you have any customers and any sales coming in. And then they're stuck with no cash flow or a boatload of debt and stress to get those bills paid. Talk about risky. That's a very, very bad spot to be. So I did this, I discovered that all this the hard way. So I discovered all this the hard way. You get to cheat and get the easy way. Picture this. You have a booming business where you have new customers calling in every single day. The email inbox is filling up. Work is just coming in like crazy. Can you guys imagine that? Just in a month from now, what your life would be like. You have Your business is just raking it in. What's your life going to be like? Pretty exciting, don't you think? So here's what here was the hard way I went about it. What the hell? So I discovered this all the hard way. So I discovered all this the hard way. You guys get to cheat and get to the easy way, but really 
Picture this, you have a booming business with new customers calling in every day. The email inbox is filling up and work is just coming in like crazy. Can you guys imagine that? And then, I mean, just imagine a month from now what your life will be like when your business is raking it in. What's it going to be like? Pretty exciting, don't you think? So a lot of things of the hard way, a lot of things, that, that, so some of the things I had to learn the hard way was right away, I knew nothing about marketing when I got started with my business. Uh, I knew what ads were, but school hardly taught me anything about creating effective ads that actually generated more business. Despite the fact I spent how much on college, probably tens and upon tens of thousands of dollars. And then also spent a fortune on just about every single form of advertising that you can imagine. Door hangers, every door direct mail, postcards, Craigslist. I built a website, ranked it on Google, put up flyers, business cards, t-shirts, yellow pages, and Yelp marketing services. The list just goes on. And then this is some extremely expensive testing. But I also followed the path of many colleagues and what some of my quote unquote friends who were not business owners, by the way, had suggested. And they say, go out there and go buy a mower and all the needed accessories, so trimmers, blowers, all that stuff. And then you go get customers. That's really, really bad advice. So you guys want the easy way that does not require you to ever waste time or money? Yes, looks like a bunch of yeses. Give us the way. Yes, holy cow. All right, you guys are... You guys are awesome. So uh, before we get into this is the results I'm going to be showing you are not typical. I'll walk you through some specific promotions and systems that are earning a lot of sales and leads right now, but my results are certainly not typical. And the average person who attends any training gets zero results because they usually don't do anything with it. However, I'm happy to show you what's working, but this isn't for get rich easy people or work from home, biz op, whatever kind of the crap you see on the side of the road. It's not for these those type of people. If you're someone who likes to get into things and learn and put in some work and actually take pride in your work, then this is what it's all about for you. So my goal for this webinar and workshop is if you're just starting out, you can get your first paying clients. And if you are a veteran, you can take these methods and scale your business to the moon. So here's what we're going to cover in this webinar. So you can, so I'll be showing you how to get your first clients within hours. Many will land one before this training is even over. And then we're going to cover three simple yet very effective free online marketing tactics that will solidify the foundation of your six or more figure outdoor service business. You can seriously take these and absolutely grow your business and take it by storm. And when we get into it, you will see exactly what I mean. But you, and then we'll also show you how you can do these landscape install projects, even if you don't have any equipment right now. So right away, most are going to say that it takes a long time to get clients when you are just starting out. And that is just not true. The old model, though, of doing this, and this is how I got my start. This is when when online advertising was just barely getting going and you'd have to go out and pound pavement for days on end and knock on doors if you don't have door hangers or flyers or you have to go out there and walk from house to house to house with door hangers. And there's a lot better way to go about doing that. Don't get me wrong, that can still be effective, but you only have so much time in the day to be able to spend working on your business before you just go insane. So you gotta be very effective and you gotta make sure what you're doing is very effective and going to produce a good ROI on your time. So I created a model called the curious student method. And this is something that's just a huge help for beginners, especially when you're starting out and you don't have a track record of any jobs. So basically what you will be doing is putting your social media to use and your outreach of uh, friends and family and all the people that you know. So if you have no image of your equipment or uh, if there are any work that you've done, if you haven't done any work, basically what you're going to want to do is make an announcement post and say, hey, Facebook friends, proud to announce that I've officially started my own landscaping business. Then obviously you're not going to put MJW Landscape Contracting because that's my company's name or it was my company's name before selling, I should say. But basically, you put your company's name and then you'll be specializing in whichever services that you want to specialize in right away. Basically, you're going to want to focus on just the smaller stuff. But uh, then you'll say my work quality is top of the line, looking to get some jobs under my belt. If anyone is in need of a small landscaping project, I'm your guy. And then also give a little bit of an incentive to people if they give... Uh, 
a review on your business Facebook page, Yelp page, or Google Maps, or any of the other review sites that you give them, say, a 10% discount on the project. And the reason you want to do this is because when you use social media, first off, it costs nothing. All you have to do is have an internet connection, or you can just go to the coffee shop and use their Wi-Fi real quick. And people will resonate with this, and they'll think, hey, this guy's a go-getter. This is really cool. I'm going to share this for all my friends and family to see. And this is exactly what I did with my business. If you see the date here, 2011, it's quite a long time ago. This is right when my designer had created the logo and, and sites like Fiverr and Conquer were not around. So that's one of those things where you almost take for granted. I had to pay a good chunk of money to get this done. Whereas now you can get it done for five bucks from Conquer or uh, like Upwork or any of the other freelancing sites. So I did the same thing with my digital marketing agency with basically filling out my work information because that's one of the things that you will also want to do is build out your work information on your Facebook page and your Instagram page with your company's information and be proud that you are the owner of your business. Most people are too afraid to make that jump and put themselves out there by starting their own business. So when you do that, be pumped to do so and, and get your name out there. So you're probably also thinking, will this work for you? I have some friends here who have a landscape and installation or landscape and irrigation company, and they just make a simple post on uh, talking about irrigation blowouts. If you're unfamiliar with those, basically what that is in areas where the ground freezes, irrigation systems need to have all the water pushed out when it's just done by compressed air and you just send all the water out until there's nothing but just air in the pipes underground. So that way when the ground freezes, it's not going to totally rupture the irrigation system. So it's a crucial service that every home or property with a irrigation system must have. So they literally just made a Facebook post just like this. And this was a few years back and they still do the same thing today. And even if it just gets two jobs, I mean, boom, there's a hundred bucks for them and it costs $0. So the ROI is absolutely, the ROI if you're unfamiliar return on investment is absolutely exponential. And also one thing that you'll want to do since Facebook has some kind of goofy algorithms is whenever you make a post with your company's Facebook page, because immediately when you get your business registered and all that, you need to register, you need to create a Facebook page for it. Uh, make your Facebook page and make your posts about the work that you're doing, but then also share it on your Facebook page. This will increase the reach and more people will be able to see it and more people will be able to share it because Facebook as a platform, they want you to pay for ads. So that's why with business and fan pages, they have really limited to the amount of people that see it. So you need to just share it on your personal page and that way more people can see it. So So now I've shown you how to get your first clients within days or even hours. Isn't that awesome? Give me a one in the chat if you think that is cool. Let's see why it says, even though I've been at it for a couple of years, I'm still going to do this right now. Awesome, man. Awesome. Andrew said, I'm making a post right now. Alrighty. Cool, 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 cool. So now secret number two. Most say that it costs a ton of money to advertise, and that's just not true. The old way of going about things, though, was very expensive, but now we have the internet and things are totally different. But the old model was to go out there and spend a bunch of money on flyers and getting them printed and door hangers and postcards and newspaper ad, yellow pages, all that stuff, and then get ready to work really hard by pounding the pavement for the next two months straight every single day. And while is that effective? Eh, it kind of can be, but I mean, what's your time worth? In my opinion, that's a horrible, horrible, horrible idea. Think about the amount of time that it takes to distribute just 2,000 door hangers. If it takes an average of 30 seconds to reach each house, that's 1,000 minutes, which is nearly 17 hours of work and one tired business owner. Now, let's say you have a 1% return. So basically, that's a 1% call rate on the door hangers you've distributed out of 2000 of them. That's about 20 people that call you. So 20 leads after all of that effort. Now that's not a bad, I, uh, bad way to go about things right there because Hey, you can turn that into maybe four or five jobs, depending on how good you are at selling and what the services are of the people that are interested depending on the services that you are offering to your pr pr prospective clients then 
that may actually turn into a good amount of revenue. However, it took you a long time to get uh, those people to come into your business. Or you can use these three free methods online to reach five times or more as many people with 10% of the time requirement and, and maybe even less than that. So method number one, and this is something that may be new to you guys, may not be, but these are called Facebook community groups. These are groups where people from similar neighborhoods or cities basically all gather and they discuss just random stuff with one another, whether it's garage sales or local businesses, which what a great concept right there for a local business owner, as well as just random things going on within the town and, and all that type of stuff. Usually, if it's a suburb or a relatively decent sized city, they're going to be filled with thousands upon thousands of homeowners that need work done. For example, one community group where my company was based, which is Champlin, Minnesota, has nearly 9,000 members. So think about this. If even just half a percent of those people are looking for landscaping, that's 45 potential projects or clients. That's huge. That's only half a percent. That's such a small number. And plus, all those people knows they know people they know friends and family they i mean again the possibilities are seriously just exponential and endless and the other reason that these are really really powerful is that it creates massive social proof and if you don't know what social proof is it's basically an instant way for people to decide to buy something because if their friends or family approve of something or their neighbors or whomever it is that they know and if those people like it they will usually buy it as well so usually what you'll see is someone will buy say something from a local store, whether it's like a, say it's a tent for a party or something like that, and or they rented it from this company. And they said, oh, this company was great to work with. These guys came out, they worked hard, they set everything up and did everything great for us. Then when someone posts about that in the group, what do you think happens? All those people see it and then they contact that company. The same exact same thing can happen with your landscaping business. And also here's another thing is that when people and so also here take a look at some of these posts by people who are actually looking for landscape work to be done they straight up just post in the group they say hey uh looking for a landscape Bit company to replace a short but long retaining wall, three feet by 60 feet. So that's about 180 square foot retaining wall that they are looking to have replaced, remove the existing timber and probably add with just regular standard retaining wall block. 180 square feet and the average price of a retaining wall in that particular area is about 25 bucks a square foot. So you're looking at about a $4,500 job right there. And that could have been obtained with just posting in this group here. If you are someone that's active in this group and say, hey, yeah, here's my company and here we are. Or if you have a friend that knows about your company. So for example, this person here, obviously the names are whited out for the uh, privacy reasons, but they shared this company's information here and they shared the link to their Facebook page that has their uh, address, phone number, and their amount of review, star rating, and all that type of stuff here. And I mean, that's huge right there. What do you think the likelihood of this guy calling that company is? Very, very, very high because He's looking for a recommendation. Someone delivered it right to him on that page. And then here are some more examples of this. So someone here was looking to have some granite landscaping rock removed from their landscape beds. That's a huge job, but uh, well, this one's this person's a little bit on the cheaper side and they say, oh, if you want just free rocks here, you can text me and we can begin. That may take a little bit of work to sell them into actually paying for the service because it's a lot of work to remove rock. However, uh, the, look at the reactions and the amount of people that had commented, 14 different people, six different likes, good amount of reaction, especially because these types of posts and these groups, there are lots going through there. So it's hard for people to see all of the posts that come in there. So that may take a little bit of work to sell them into wanting to remove the rocks. But again, there's the potential right there. Here's another post. And this is uh, the top part, and this is the bottom part of the post here. But another guy looking for a local landscaper to come out and provide a bid for about 2,000 square foot area needs good work and reasonable prices. They usually, they most likely just want plants and mulch. So 
you can see here some of the reactions to it. Some people liked it. And then a few comments just recommending landscape companies. Now imagine if you either had say a friend or maybe it could be a family member or like a, a extended family member or someone that you work with or something. Not, I mean, it could even be you saying, hey, this is my company here. We do amazing work. Look at our, our reviews and everything on Facebook. And here's our website. Boom. There's a good shot that that guy's going to call your business. And so another way to go about doing this is straight up just posting in the group and sharing your company's page because, well, if, well, actually, first off, you don't even necessarily have to have a website to do this. You can just share the Facebook page. And if you don't have a Facebook page for your business, you got to get there, get out there and make one. It, it takes 10 minutes to set it up and add some images and, and a logo and all that type of stuff to the page. But basically what you want to do is say something along the lines of not just, Hey, this is my company, but just add in something unique to stand out and how your services can benefit the community and its members or its citizens. So for this example here, this guy had posted in here saying that he wanted to give back to the community and get rid of any of the eyesores and probably do them for free, like in the medians or corners or roundabouts, which are circular intersections, if you're unfamiliar with those. And uh, he's going to be contacting the city, but he would love to have your input. And it is you guys city. Have a great day. Looking forward to your suggestions. And I uh, didn't have any comments, but a bunch of different likes and hearts. So obviously it wasn't someone coming in there and commenting and nobody went in there and commented saying, oh, you're spamming the group or anything like that. You, you just go in there and not be afraid to put yourself out there and good things will happen. Because think about this. If only 10% of this group of nine or 10,000 people sees your post, that's reaching nearly 1,000 people. And again, since it's a public forum and people are able to react to the post, it's not like it was just an ad on TV where nobody can say anything negative about it if there's any negative ties to it or they can't necessarily say positive ties. They just can't do anything. With being in a public forum type of po or a group like this, it creates instant social proof, which is incredibly, incredibly powerful when it comes to building trust and rapport because when you share this page here, they can go right to your page and see the reviews or people can comment right here and they can say whatever it is that they want to say. And it's just something that's incredibly, incredibly powerful. I mean, to reach 2000 people with door hangers would take you a couple of days. And even on the very low end with reaching one of these groups, it would be seen for the most part within probably a day. And you didn't even have to leave your house. You could literally have posted this on your phone from your bed. So another thing that you can also do is if you have some jobs under your belt, so this is where the veterans would come into play, is you can make posts in these groups of recent jobs, or it doesn't even have to be recent. It could be last year or something, but it, it could be jobs that you were done in that area. So for example, new installation job here done in Champlain, just a landscape renovation removal and then replaced with rock and edging. Here's a patio that was installed. And the cool thing about this is if your client is active in the group, they may even just start commenting on it and say, hey, thanks for the awesome work. Or if you have their permission and you're able to post in this group and, and tag them and say, hey, we just did this great job here at uh, Johnny's house and tag them in and, and his his friends and uh, people that are friends with him on Facebook will see that, oh, he was just tagged in this post. If they're in that group anyway, they will see, okay, wow, this, that looks amazing. I want that done. And also, if someone were to comment on it and they say, or the, the client was able to say, Hey, thanks for the awesome work. That's instant, just boom, instant social proof. And what this also does is someone else can comment on here saying, Hey, what do you charge to remove rock? And then you say, well, I give us a call. Uh, we'll happy to be able to come out and take some measurements and let you know what the price would be. So you obviously don't want to just say it, it could be 250 bucks or, or whatever the amount could be. It could be way more, it could be way less. It just really depends on what the job entails anyways. But the big thing to take away from this is that you just, but the big thing to take away from this is just to put yourself out there and don't be afraid of what someone may say. This is really, really simple to do. This kind of technology has never been ever had before. And you can literally advertise your business for $0 and have it be seen by thousands of people. And you literally could post this from laying in bed and do it once each morning before you get up and go out and do uh, working and, and whatever else that you do every single day. 
So a little bit of pro tip on this though is that you will want to add in a discount onto the project in exchange for a review on your Facebook business page, Google Maps listing or Yelp or any other types of uh, posting on there. And that way that will help boost your like rating and just and keep your company looking good and relevant. So what you definitely want to do though is just don't sound too spammy, but definitely put yourself out there and don't be afraid of what people may say. So method number two is networking forums. And if you are familiar with any of the contractor style forums, there's a lot of discussion that goes on, but there are also a lot of requests for subcontractors or someone just to take on extra work. The list really goes on. And the cool thing about it is that to obtain any of these jobs right here. So for example, this was on Plowsite in the Minnesota snow thread, which was a couple of years ago, as you can see, it's from 2014. However, still relevant. This can still be done today. It's just a little bit different, mostly with probably Facebook groups versus these online forums because it's a lot easier to just post Facebook and post from those forums from your phone rather than having to log into the website and do all that stuff. But you can see here, people posting anyone do irrigation in this city, anyone wants to mow around these areas, I uh, have all the information. And uh, if you want to please email me at boom, here's my email address. Or for example, here, for this is actually my post that I had made back in 2014, looking to have somebody come out and do a uh, basically just brush hog an entire backyard. It was about 5,500 square feet in a suburb. The weeds were really, really tall. The overgrown was massively, massively overgrown. We had to remove it all and then uh, grade it and then irrigation and we installed sod. But I uh, had one of the members on here just reply and say, hey, don't have one on my skid. Got one on my big tractor though. 250 bucks. Next Tuesday we can do it, which is 10 days out. And uh, we ended up doing things a little bit differently on that project. However, there's there's a $250 sale just by being a member on this forum. And obviously what the one thing that you will need to do on here is be a little bit of a regular because if you're someone that's just totally random, when you post something in there, not necessarily posting about the work, but, uh, or, or having work, but if you want to get work, because when I made this post here and when other guys have made this post, you not believe how many private messages that I would get or any of the other guys would get when they post about having work for someone to do from people that had never, ever even posted in the group before. It was kind of a really close knit community. So if you're not well known and you're sending requests or messages only when work comes about, it's not likely that you'll get it. So you have to be active and participating with it. And it's actually, I mean, it's quite simple. You can just check these forums and these threads once a day. It might take about 30 minutes just to scroll through and add your input into different posts here and there and help people out with questions that they may have. So give me an X if you guys think that you could probably do that. I mean, 30 minutes a day to turn into perhaps maybe 250 bucks in just a really quick sale. Or for example, here's another project that was uh, actually very, very lucrative is what it came about. On one late night plowing, a guy had posted about uh, looking to have a lot plowed in uh, another city called New Brighton. He'd been through it once, but it, it got about three quarter inches of snow that had dropped on that last band. It was like a half inch trigger property. He wasn't sure if he'd be able to get there by 6 a.m. So I just happened to check that page at about 1 a.m. as we were wrapping up our plowing route and gave the guy a call and said, hey, we could probably help you out. And then that ended up turning into a ton of work. Just uh, that one job was about $180 or so for plowing. And then it led to a bunch more subbed work throughout that winter. And then also the following winter, because I was able to meet another colleague, he had an absolute boatload of accounts and needed to sub out, I believe about 35 residential properties and also some commercial properties. And we were able to take all those on that turned into about, I believe seven or $8,000 in new snow revenue, just from these posts right here. Had I not been active in, in this forum, I wouldn't have been able to get those particular jobs. And it, again, it didn't cost me anything. I didn't have to go out and spend $2,000 on postcards or anything like that to be able to get these jobs. Just literally posting in forums with other guys that did the same exact work that I did. And here was another big one as well. Uh, I, f I was actually a fr someone who became a friend had posted, anyone, anyone want to do a sod job in YZ, a small amount of grading, and it can be done by hand. It's about 70 yards of sod. He had posted about it and I had emailed him 
uh, immediately about this and we couldn't do that one because it was such a short timeline however he says there's another bigger one in uh, minnetonka a little ways down the road near 494 and 7 some roads in the uh, metro area about 1125 yards will be graded may need some light hand rating and uh it pays four thousand bucks message me if interested so four thousand bucks to go out there and 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 get this job but from literally just posting in this group and being active and posting give me give me a, a hell yeah guys if you want to make four grand from literally just making posts in a facebook group or on a community forum from your phone everyone hell yeah wyatt jason justin andrew awesome guys awesome Well, oddly enough, this job had turned into nearly $6,000 and ended up being about 1,700 square yards of sod. So almost 33% more, actually about 33% more than this was. And literally just from posting in this group and being an active member in this forum. And it's just incredible what, uh, what, what that had turned into. And we literally had to pay nothing to acquire these clients. And it was just from this networking group and who of which we actually were also doing some commercial mowing for already. So we literally profited about $2,500 from that job after all salaries and everything had been paid and uh, all the overhead and whatnot. So anyone else like the idea of making a big chunk of money from a super low in advertising investment? Looks like yes, everyone's saying yes, they all agree. Okay, okay. So you guys are ready for method number three? Give me one in the chat box if you are, because it's going to absolutely blow you away and surprise you to say the least. Looks like everyone says they're ready. One, one, one. Holy cow. Okay. Alrighty. Craigslist. Yeah. Guys, before you think I'm crazy though for saying this, take a look at one of the entrepreneurship members ads for their landscape and irrigation company. Mentioned them earlier and how powerful it can be when done correctly. So beforehand, uh, before we get into all this, but basically when I would create these ads, I would go super in depth and try to make them just look super, super perfect and images and different text and all this stuff. And as you can see, this ad is pretty dang ugly. What you see is what you get. And it's all caps and it's plain straightforward to the point saying, hey, sod installed $2.65 per square yard no coding to make the text stand out or, or anything like that. And just one picture. And then another example is just paper patios, sidewalks, retaining walls, and just a really, really blurry ad or image, I should say, of a hardscape project. And then just straight up forward, what you see is what you get, just plain text. And then just their basic calls to action. And it, this is almost laughable as because this is what a lot of people probably do on craigslist and this is and then they usually complain that uh that it doesn't work or just that they uh do all the stuff and then it never works however when it's conveyed in the right message give me no way if you guys think that in the chat box if this is if you guys think these ads don't work this is junk this sucks what are we wasting our time with craigslist for everyone's saying no way jay says what are we doing all right, all right, all right. Just bear with me, guys. It, it's I almost I have to laugh at it too. However, nearly twenty one thousand dollars in sales were generated just uh, in one particular one week's time. And the only ads these guys are running are on Craigslist. You see the checks right here within a week's time, and, and this costs zero dollars. Now, just imagine your business making even just five thousand dollars a week, or ten dollars a week, or even heck maybe even $1,000 a week. If you're someone that's brand new, you just want to get one job under your belt in the next week. Posting very, very simple ads like this are what do it. What's the basic, it's just, it's literally when it comes to ads on Craigslist, it's want pizza, get pizza. So you do you want hardscapes installed? Do you want a retain wall? Do you want paver? Boom, call us, here's the pricing. We'll be out there to do an estimate and boom, go, to, go and, uh, and get started. Boom, $21,000 in one week's time. It's Give me a heck yeah in the chat box, guys, if you think that's cool and you want to do that. Looks like heck yeah, heck yeah, Jason, Andrew, Andy, Alex. Awesome. All right, yeah, you guys are fired up. This is, this is sweet. This is sweet. So now for secret number three. Most 
will always say, and so many people in the industry have this stigma, and I don't know why, but they say you can't do any projects unless you have equipment first. And I think that that is absolutely false. The old model to go about it, that to go about starting a lawn landscape business is you go out there, buy a mower, trimmer, blower, trimmer, truck, when you have no paying customers yet. Well, that makes no sense. It's a really bad idea because equipment doesn't make money when it's sitting there with no customers paying for it to be out working. You guys, let me know if you... If this makes sense to you, if, if it just does not make any sense to have a bunch of metal sitting there, that it, it's not doing anything to make you any money. And at, at that point in time, it's just hunks of metal sitting there. So I came up with a new model. And basically, this is instead of spending money on equipment, you invest that money into advertising for small landscape installation projects right away. You don't skip going to Home Depot. You don't need to go to the mower auctions. You don't need to go on Craigslist and buy any equipment. Go and spend your money on on advertising just with the online methods we showed you. And then also, if you do have the money to spend on paid forms of marketing, put it into focusing on small landscape installations. So get yourself a website built and get door hangers and all, just do as much as you can. Because when you're getting started, you're going to have to just bust your butt and get out there and get things going and get out and get talking to people and be just posting your flyers in restaurants and do every do all the online marketing that we just showed. And then on top of that, focus on all the offline stuff as well, because you just got to go and you got to go and go and go and go until then you have customers coming in and say, okay, then you can kind of change your plan and focus on the stuff that's going to give you the most ROI. So if all the online stuff's working the best, that's when you shift and you start doing the work for your clients and then you do your online marketing. So that's the long side of that. But why do you want to focus on small landscape installations or really just landscape installations in general? Because landscape installations require a down payment from your clients before the job gets started. So you take that money from the initial deposit, you go out, you buy the equipment that you need, and then you go buy the material that you need. So with these small jobs, you don't need a lot of equipment. And instead of putting your neck out on the line and risking your money, you essentially get paid to invest in your first pieces of equipment. Safe and smart. How many like doing that versus risking and or working for a long time at a job, saving up the money and you have to go buy a bunch of equipment. And then you're just like, what the heck do I do now? One of the customers coming in. So how many of you guys are just thinking, holy cow, all right, we just got to totally rechange how we are doing things. It looks like everyone is saying yes, 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 yes. All righty. And you're probably thinking, what jobs can I do that won't require a ton of equipment right away? These are basically small just super basic landscape installations, simple stuff, mulch, rock, edging, and plantings. And if you want to do trees, like ball and burlap trees, you certainly can. However, just shrubs are what you will want to focus on. They're insanely profitable and they're really simple to do. And if you don't have a truck to tow a dump trailer or haul a lot of weight, the other thing is that all this material can be delivered by your supplier. So in the theory, you could use a Honda Civic and own a landscaping business that makes money. And you'll be out there making money with a Honda Civic, whereas the guy who spent all his money on a truck and equipment that's not making any money doing anything, he has to go get a job. He's he's sitting there wondering, well, when are the customers going to come? When you are going things the entrepreneur way and you're focusing on basically getting a business and getting sales versus hurrying up and, and hoping, getting a bunch of equipment and hoping customers come in, which is a really bad way to go about it. So as you can see here, here's actually the job that we did with the, the one that turned into $6,000 from the forum, the post on there. This was about 20 yards, or not 20 yards, sorry, 20 pallets of sod. Uh, we ended up getting a, a little bit more than we needed for that whole job, but it was about a half acre of sod. As you can see, we literally just showed up with just the one truck. We had one trailer to stack all the pallets on couple of wheelbarrows and then your basic hand tool. So ba rakes is really all we needed. And then utility knives to cut the sod. That is it. $6,000 job. We roll up with one truck, four guys total, and then a small trailer to stack the pallets on. And you don't even necessarily have to have that. You could either hire the sod supplier to come back and pick them up or work out a deal with somebody if you don't have, a, if you don't have a truck, but literally $400, $500 worth of equipment was able to do the work. And then also we have that equipment. So it's not like that 500 bucks is one and done gone. We have the, those wheelbarrows and those pitchforks and rakes and, and knives, knives and all that stuff to continue using on the next jobs in the future. So 
give me an X if you guys want to do jobs like this and, and be making money rather than going and buying a bunch of stuff beforehand and then hoping to make money. And looks like the X's are just rolling in. Jason says, yeah, absolutely. That's way better way to go about things. Yeah, absolutely. Because it, what make, what sense does it make to go buy a mower if you don't have any customers? That's, that's exactly it, man. That's exactly it. So another example, and these are just some, this isn't a show off or anything of, of the work that we've done, but this is just what you can do for projects without having a ton of equipment. Like this one right here, we literally just went in there and took apart this wall and then rebuilt it, glued it. So we had to get a glue gun, which is nine bucks from Home Depot and then some glue. And of course, this, these, these are all factored into the cost of doing the job. So it's not like we necessarily had to pay for it. And the person also paid up front as well. And then we added in a little bit more rock to fill in uh, up to the level of the wall. And then also a little bit of gravel to for the, uh, add into the base. So that way the wall would uh, be totally flat. And you can see quite a uh, an improvement here. And this was a quick four hour thing, about a thousand bucks that we were paid to do that. Pretty simple. Who wants to make 250 bucks an hour and basically have that be 90% profit? Sound good to you guys? Yeah, and the X's are rolling in. Holy cow. All righty. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Another one here where you see this massive, massive tree. We sure as heck didn't cut that down. We literally just called up a tree service and said, hey, what would you guys do this for? And they gave us the price. We had up a little bit of a markup to uh, apply to the job. And we uh, applied that to the client's bill. They pay it. And then the work gets done. We come in and they did the stump grinding as well. And then we went in, we actually, this was, there's more to this project was the whole backyard was redone. And this, the, uh, to the right side here was also done, all redone with new lawn and stuff. But you can see even just a small job like this, if it was just removing the stream, putting in a landscape bed, that's certainly possible. So guys, don't be afraid. If there's a massive tree that needs to be removed and you're not a tree company with like saws and uh, stump grinders and all that stuff, you can subcontract that out to companies that are set up to do that and they are insured to do those jobs and you don't have to worry about it. They just go in, they do their thing, they get out and then you come in and you do your thing. And this is simple right here. This is super simple stuff right here. Dig a little bit out, bring in the, the shrubs, plant them, and then you bring in the mulch. Uh, actually, you will be doing, you're putting in edging and then you'll do the mulch, but it's just so, so simple. And this is seriously profitable work. And this is exactly what we did on every single landscape installation project that we ever did. We'd get a deposit down, even if it was working for like a house flipping company or like a, a home building company or a, another contractor, like a landscape company or residential, commercial, doesn't matter. 50% down at a minimum. Sometimes it was 30% at contract signing, 30% on day one, and then the remaining 30 at completion. Either way, we got money down beforehand one, so that way we had very little risk when purchasing thousands of dollars in material and additional equipment when it was needed. But also because this ends the ever troubling trend that seems to be just really current and true within the landscape industry is I put, oh man, 15 grand in materials on my account at the supplier. Had to pay that. Now I'm stuck with no cash after paying my guy's payroll or after making payroll. And then now I'm waiting for my clients to pay me. That's not a good spot to be in. You never want to be low on cash when it comes to running a business. So essentially, I've showed you how to get paid for doing the work before you even get out there and do anything, allowing you to basically get these jobs before you even purchase a single shovel. How sweet is that? Guys, give me a two in the chat box if you think that's pretty nifty. And look at the twos roll in Andy, Jason, Wyatt, Alex, Matt, another Matt on here. Cuts. That's very cool. Dan. Alrighty. Awesome guys. Awesome. 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 So here's basically the gist of what we had all covered, how you can go out there and get your first clients within just hours or days. Some of you guys will probably even land one before the training's over for the guys that had posted on their social media while this webinar was happening how you can go out there and do uh, all these different online advertising methods that are totally free and have generated just tens of thousands of dollars and how you can go basically get paid before you even get started on the job. So let me ask you guys a question. This stuff is pretty cool, right? How many of you guys are excited? How many of you guys are just plain overwhelmed and just thinking, holy cow, I got to do all this stuff now. I'm, I got to get out there. I got to get to work. Everyone's saying, wow, this is amazing stuff. Ben's saying, geez, I got, I got some work to do. 
Hey man, we're uh, happy to help you out with, uh, with the content here. At least now you learned a good chunk of information that you can go put it to work. Now, guys, if you followed what I showed you in secret one and you found some clients and then I showed you what to do and you use the methods in secret number two to get more clients for literally next to nothing, you can reach thousands of people and you could probably have 20 to 30 leads lined up and, and phone calls coming in. And then I showed you how to use secret number three to get paid before the job starts. You don't have to risk any of your own money before getting a paid client. Do you guys think that you could be successful at that? Looks like Andy says, yes, Dan, Ben, Alex. Yes, yes, hell yeah. Now guys, how would it help you? Cause I want to serve you as best as I can. How would you like if I could actually help you implement this? Now it's not possible to explain in just a 60 minute presentation, but I tried to cover as much as possible, but guys, I, I created a special package for those who are ready to move forward and want to implement this new opportunity. So is it right if I spend 10 minutes going over a really special offer that I created to help you implement generating five figures in new landscape jobs? Guys, let me know in the chat box because I won't do it if you guys aren't interested. Looks like yes, yes, heck yeah, heck yeah. Andy says yes, already awesome guys, awesome. So guys, I'd like to present to you Launchpreneurship 101, which is our eight module masterclass. And when you invest today, what you're going to learn is how to establish an official legitimate business along with other vital requirements, such as the proper licenses when it comes to taxes and those type of things, insurance, you learn marketing techniques that your competition just doesn't want you to know about. And that frankly, the, the world doesn't even know about these. You'll get an in-depth guide on creating a pricing system to sell your jobs and services and be profitable and really just eight modules of handheld every detail covered training. And here's all of what we cover. So module one, we get into the business foundational setup. So getting things registered, getting the official registration, like an LLC corporation, knowing your numbers and figuring out how to do taxes and how to do accounting and bookkeeping for your business. And also how to choose uh, basically to set up your, your business and all that aspect there. Then module two, we get into choosing the right equipment and the trucks for the job. Then module three, we are at the job site is basically how we show you how to do all the jobs step by step for lawn services, landscaping, and snow removal. And then we get into module four, pricing for profit, which includes templates to set up your pricing. We get into module five next, which is mastering your marketing and I can't even explain to you how in depth that goes, but module six, we get into taming the beast, which is business operations and management. How do you manage the whole entire business when it comes to managing people and scheduling jobs and communicating with your clients and all the things that go into that module seven, we get into managing employees module eight, we get into motivation, mindset, and networking, and not to sound like Tony Robbins type of stuff or anything like that, but really just you got to have the right mindset when it comes to running a business because there are a lot of things that can throw you off your game. So when you sign up, you get inst instant access to my eight module master class and total value of that is 1997. So nearly 2000 bucks. Now let me introduce you guys to some people who've come through here. So Patrick, he's been in business for many years and he's found yet a ton of solid information for not only marketing his business more effectively, which in the end reduces his costs and makes him more money, but also how to get his jobs done more efficiently. His company is always greener landscaping. They do a lot of mulch installation, a lot of mowing, cleanups, snow, all that type of good stuff. And then there's Jackson here who owns a company called Unlimited Lawn Care and Landscaping. And he came through Launchpreneurship 101. He says, if you're looking to start your own lawn care business, look no further. I thought Launchpreneurship was a very simple step-by-step -step guide to follow and will reduce a ton of headaches when looking for how to legitimately set up your business and register it. Also love the simple templates for pricing your services and the marketing techniques that helped his business drastically. And it looks like there's a little bit of a spelling error, but we don't really worry too much about spelling at Launchpreneurship. We worry about getting results and getting things, getting things done. Spelling doesn't, uh, is not required to make money. <laughs> but then probably my favorite story is from Tyler, who is the owner of TJP lawn care and snow removal. And he says, if you're looking to start or expand your 
business. He highly recommends Entrepreneurship 101. It's very detailed for starting up your lawn landscaping business, but being that he's been successful for nine seasons, he thought this course would be a total waste of time, but it wasn't. It's loaded with helpful, actually usable information to start your business and make it grow. This also outlines how to start a successful business with barely any money to get things off the ground. And if you have any interest in growing your existing business or starting one today, do not hesitate to purchase this. So guys, who will this work for? I know we covered very in the very beginning to see where everyone was at when it came to their business journey. Some of you guys were beginners, some guys were veterans. And basically the goal of this is for beginners, get your first paying clients and sales within 30 days. And when it comes to veterans, you can increase your sales, increase your company's efficiency on job sites and in the shop and office, because that's very, very important as well. And then take that to scale your business to the moon. So what you're also going to get is the bonus training module, which is an ever-growing module of landscape project case studies. Learn how we acquired the job, the tasks at hand, the problems that we had encountered, how we had solved them, and the numbers on the project. So the gross revenue on it, the net profit on it, and a whole bunch more. So if you're ready for whatever, so that way you're ready for whatever comes your way. And you don't have to worry about go, how to uh, pr approach larger jobs. You won't have to be overwhelmed. You will have this information and you'll be able to see that, hey, okay, Matt and his guys were able to tackle this backyard that had six foot tall weeds and we couldn't cut those down with a regular mower. It's just way too big. And we need to remove all that to then add inside. Or if you encounter any job like that, or how do you even build a paper patio? Where do you get started? All that's covered and a whole lot more. I'd, I'd either have to do trial and error on the job site or on some occasions I'd have to spend I'd either have to do trial and error on the job site and try to figure this out because I remember the first paper patio we ever did. Wow, what is it? Uh, wow, it was just a disaster. It was tough trying to learn all these things and, and figure out how to go or on some some occasions, a lot of the things that I had to do were had to be learned in horticulture and landscape school, where I'd spend years and years and tens of thousands of dollars in college for those in that program, and then be able to ask those teachers how to handle those situations because uh, it's one of those things that you just you, that information is not out there anymore, or it wasn't at that point in time. So the total value of this is nine ninety seven. So what you're going to get is eight full business training modules, total value 1997, and then the case study module, total value of $2,994. And then also for bonus number one of what you'll get, the tools of the trade. So you'll be set up right away to get out there and get to work. You will get the, you get access to a contract proposal and client communication templates. The Contracts that you will get are for the exact services for lawn care, landscaping, and snow removal. These are the exact templates my company used and every member of Lawn Entrepreneurship 101 has used for effectively selling jobs, signing on clients, cold calling commercial clients, emailing, telephone conversations, and much more. These will help you communicate with your clients, land more jobs, protect your company to ensure you're paid on time, and all their other parties will know their responsibility. So your clients know that, okay, yeah, we got to move all the toys out of the way and we got to make sure all the cars are out of the way, all that type of stuff. If you were to hire a lawyer or a consultant to draw up these documents, it would cost you thousands, but you won't have to do this because I'm giving this to you for free as a special bonus, making it just so much easier to sell jobs and converse with your clients. Total value on this is $497. But this is only for the first 20 people only. We got about 100 people live. And judging by the chat box, you guys are really aggressive. And it looks like some of you guys are ready to just get in this right now. So I'm guessing this is going to go very, very, very quick. So what you're going to get is the full eight training business modules valued at 1997. You get a case study module valued at 997. You get access to bonus number one, tools of the trade value of 497, total value of $3,491. But also you're going to get access to the strength in numbers community, which is private access to our private support community for launch membership 101 members only. This is a group that honors itself on networking with like-minded business owners that help each other win. 
plus Q&A webinars twice per month where you get all of your questions about business answered live right then and there. And that comes at a value of $497. If you were to go visit a networking conference, it would cost you probably thousands of dollars between flights and hotel stays and the actual event. But you won't need to do that because I'm giving to you this giving this to you as a special bonus for free, making it way easier to talk with business owners that can see things from a different perspective, help you with pricing, equipment problems, the list goes on. Total value of $497. And this is, again, only for the first 20 people only. Got a full house on here. There's going to be a lot of people rushing to get this right away. So this is going to go quick. So again, what you're going to get is the eight full business training modules valued at $19.97, case study module valued at $9.97, the tools of the trade worth $497, and then the strength in numbers community, $497, total value $3,998. And then also, for the very only first five people on this webinar, you get a 30-minute consult with me worth $997. And basically, you'll get to ask me anything that you want to know about business, what to price things. You get every single, you get access to anything and anything that you want to know about business with a Skype call. And then you get access to a 30 minute consult with me. And this is for only the first five people on this webinar only. If you are someone that is not here, let's see. And so then you'll get access to a, and so for the first five people only live on this webinar, you will get access to a 30 minute consultation call with me worth $997. You get to ask whatever, anything and anything that you want about business and answer right there live, real time with me on Skype. And you will get to really have any questions you could possibly want to know the answers to answered right there. What type of brand of equipment's best? What's, what should I do in this job? What should I do in that job? You get that. And that's only for the first five people. So that is going to go very, very, very quickly. And this is for doers only because I'm guessing there are probably two types of people listening to me right now. You're either a doer or a dabbler. The dabblers love to sit and listen and learn, but they rarely do anything and often look for any excuse not to move forward. Now, some of you are doers. You're not sure how this is going to work for you, but you see how it's worked for me and other people. So you have faith that it will work for you as well. And what I've found is that the doers who get ahead in life, that's the doers are the ones that get ahead in life and the dabblers don't ever seem to progress. So are you a doer or a dabbler? So what you're going to get is eight full business training modules valued at $19.97, case study module valued at $9.97. You get bonus number one of the tools of the trade of the contracts and proposal and communication templates. $4.97 is what that's valued at. Strength in numbers community valued at $4.97. You get a 30-minute consultation call with me valued at $9.97. Bring the total value of $4,985. Now guys, if all this package did was finally make your business profitable, would it be worth it? $5,000 one time to potentially earn 10 times or more of that, 10 times or more of that in the next few months. Is it worth that? Is it worth five grand you guys? Oh yeah, absolutely. looks like everyone else is saying yes too. Andy says, hell yeah. How about if it just gave you the kick in the butt to finally get you moving? Would it be worth it then? Or if it gave you just two to three landscape installation projects per month, would it be worth it? How much is one client worth it to you? And think about just not even not only the short term, but the long term. Let's say they pay 5000 bucks for a landscape installation. So one client right there, boom, covers the cost of this. And then they have their basic maintenance service that they sign on for for a year and they stay on for... And that's a thousand bucks and they stand for two to three years. There's another $3,000. What is that worth to you? Not to mention the word of mouth that 
one client can generate, especially if they're happy, the work is really good because you're going to learn exactly how to do the work the right way, making sure the client is just incredibly, incredibly thrilled with the project. Word of mouth is going to spread like wildfire. Plus you also get access to all of the marketing methods that literally blew my company up as well as members of the course. Plus to learn all these things, you'd have to spend upwards of $50,000 on a college education plus years and years of painstaking trial and error to get things right. Guys, give me an X if you want to spend 50 grand to try to learn all this stuff and learn from a college professor who may not even have ever owned a business. And the hell no's are already rolling in on the chat box. Exactly, exactly. So guys, would it be worth it? Or would the end result be worth it to you if you had a successful business today that was making you money? Would this, what would it be worth? So guys, if you had a successful business today that was making you money, what would it be worth to you? How much would you pay for that one successful business? Because it's likely upwards of $250,000 to buy an existing business that's profitable and has clients. You could probably see why someone would pay $5,000 for a similar result for me because this is an investment. This isn't a cost. This is an investment. So you can see why it's a really good deal at nearly $5,000. And even at $997, which is what I charge the public, it's a great deal. But because you guys are attending this webinar, you can get started right now for just one payment of $297. Or guys, if you don't maybe don't have the cash flow in order to be able to handle that full big one-time payment, we can do three payments of just $132. I will put the link in the chat box for the few of you guys who are literally just burning down the door. Holy cow. Give me the link. Give me the link. Give me the link is what Jason Wyatt, Andy, all holy cow. All righty, guys. There is the link. I'm going to take a drink of water. Let the questions roll in here real quick. Okay, so guys, let me put this into perspective for you. If you guys went to my regular website right now, you could buy this course for $997, but because you invested this time with me, you've proven that you really want to start your business or that you wanna grow your business, I'm making you this a special offer for this workshop. And this is it right here, $297 for over $5,000 worth of training. Or again, if you aren't in a position to be able to maybe spend that full 300, that full 297 right now, if you aren't in a position to spend that full 297 right now, you can do it for just three payments of $132. That's about two tanks of gas right there. That's very, very, very cheap considering that this is an investment that's going to, with the right kind of mindset, make Considering the fact that this is an investment that's going to very much so pay itself back. So guys, you have two choices. You can do nothing. And if you do nothing with the information that you've learned in the last hour, what, what will you get? Nothing. Or you can choose to take a leap of faith. You can just test it out to see if it will work for you. You have nothing but you have nothing to lose but stress and headaches. And guys, we have a and guys, we have a 30-day money back action-based guarantee. You can test drive it now and see if it'll work for you because you have nothing to lose. The real question is is it worth it to place a small bet on your time to check this out? Even if it only does half of what I've claimed today, it will pay for itself 
in as soon as 30 days. So what you're going to get again, guys, is eight full training modules valued in 1997. You'll get access to the case study module. You will never have to worry about how to approach a job because not only that, you'll get access you get access to all those jobs, but you also have access to the tools of the trade so that way you know how to communicate with clients effectively. And you will be in the strength in numbers community where you'll be able to ask questions on jobs and get answers on how to go out there and do all these types of jobs. And then there are, it looks like there are only two, one spot of this left because you guys have just been blowing it up, but there's only one spot left of the 30 minute consult with me as a bonus as well at 19,997. And again, this limit was at five and now it is pretty much gone. There's only one spot left and it looks like Andy just bought. So he's just, oh yeah, he just got that last spot. Guys, the total value of this is worth $4,985. So guys, you can get started right now. Launchpreneurship.com slash go. The link is in the chat box. One payment, two ninety seven. dollars Super, super small investment. Or if that's maybe on the high end, you can do three payments of $132. Again, super low investment compared to the ROI. 30-day action-based money-back guarantee. Now, guys, it, here's something that's kind of interesting. Most people in this world will live paycheck to paycheck. Every couple of weeks, you get paid and then you pay your fixed costs like your rent and your food. And then there's usually there's some money left over. That's called disposable income. Now, most people are going to blow that every single month. If they have a thousand bucks in disposable income, they're going to go out, spend it on going to the bar, TV, new iPhone, until it's all gone. All short-term pleasures that are gone in an instant. But the cool thing is that money replenishes itself. Every two weeks or so, boom, there's another thousand bucks in disposable income that you can spend. Most people spend that cash on things that don't add value to their lives in a meaningful way. You should be investing that money into something that will help your business and yourself. That's the power of disposable income. It comes back every couple of weeks. Boom, then there's more money. With time, you don't get that. What, what you're buying here is a massive, massive time saver. And when I say buy, I should actually be saying investment because it's a true investment because I could stop right here. If I stopped right here and you only got the lessons on just installing patios and retaining walls, would this still be worth the investment? Looks like some of the guys are saying yes. Looks like Jason, yes. Wyatt says yes. All right, yeah. And But you're going to be getting an entire training archive on how to perform efficiently perform all landscape installation services, as well as all these step-by-step -step instructions for lawn care maintenance and snow and ice management services, how to market those services, price each one of them, and manage your entire business. And I want to make sure that nothing is standing in the way of your success. And guys, I had two choices when it came to this. Could have gone as cheap as possible and just tried to sell as many of this as possible. But the problem is that I couldn't stack on the value for you. So I decided to go with the second option, which obviously requires a slightly higher investment on your side. But in exchange for that, we can dedicate more time, energy, and resources to help guarantee your success. So that is why we have the payment option here where you can do 132 just three different times over the course of three months. Think about that. That's only about three bucks a day, three, four bucks a day. That's not much considering the fact if you go out there and get a three or $4,000 landscape installation, you've already more than 10 X your money on this investment. So guys, if you're still on the fence, now is the time to open up a new browser window, go to entrepreneurship.com slash go and get started. Remember there's a 30 day action based money back guarantee, but the only way for you to know if this is right is for you to get started right now You can go get your account right now. Launchpreneurship.com slash go. Get the 30-day action-based money-back guarantee. I'm going to grab a quick drink of water and check over to some questions to see if any of you guys are still on the fence trying to figure out whether or not you should dive in because it looks like there's only one spot left on actually getting the 30-minute consult call with me.
so Andy, let's see, not Andy. Let's see, he's all he's pumped. He's holy cow, he's going crazy. Let's see here. So Justin says, does this include instructions for doing work on the, the job sites? Yes, absolutely. It, it goes very, very, very in depth when it comes to mowing, fertilizing weed control. We've got a really big lesson on that when it comes to how to go about doing the work, but also how to be an expert at those services. So that way you can talk to your clients and be educating them and informing them on how the process works and not to talk to them like you're a science professor or anything like that, but basically to really just inform them of what's going on in their lawn when that stuff is applied to it, when fertilizing and weed control products are uh, applied to it. So that way, you know, and you can inform them, Hey, yeah, it's your client or your uh, pets and, and family are safe to be on the lawn after an application, those types of things. And we get into all of the hardscapes, landscape installations, fall cleanups, spring cleanups, dethatching, residential plowing, commercial plowing, the list just goes on and on. It's, I, I don't even know how many hours it is, but there's a lot of content in there. Let's see. And so Matt has asked when it comes to marketing, how is it all laid out? Okay. So basically it goes into starting off with just ads 101 and how to create an effective ad, the essential elements that you need in order to get people to want to buy things uh, from your company. And then also we get into the different forms of advertising, how things should be designed, how it should be laid out. And then we get into online advertising with how to build a website for very, very, very cheap and actually have it look good. And then we get into a serious amount of modules or videos and training, I should say, about how to build it and get it ranking on Google because that's something very, very important. A website's no good unless people can find it. And having it ranking on Google is very, very, very crucial because those people that are in, say, Champlin, Minnesota and looking for landscaping are typing that exact in or those exact terms in. And the cool thing about it is it's super targeted. So the people that are going to those searches and when your site shows up, you already know that they're looking for that. So we go way in depth with that. We get into Facebook ads. We get into doing Craigslist and both ways with both the super simple and these little more complicated ways. And the list just goes on and on and on. We get into email marketing and just all the cool stuff that most, I mean, you're not going to see this anywhere to say the least. Does that answer your question, Matt? And it looks like he says, yes. Alrighty. Cool. Take one more drink of water and see what we got for questions here. Okay. All righty, guys, I'm going to do one last question and then we're going to close down the webinar. Um, looks like. Okay. There's still one spot left when it comes to the consult call. That's kind of been holding off. Okay. All righty, guys, let's see. One last question here. Looks like Andy. Oh, I got, got the consult call. Got everything. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Be looking forward to speaking with you very, very soon. Now let's see here. Okay, so Justin asked, when it comes to scheduling and planning out jobs, how is that taught? All right, yeah, there's, I can't even explain how many videos and uh, training there are on this subject, but we go very, very, very in depth when it comes to scheduling out not only like your work day for lawn care, landscaping, and snow, but also your work weeks and how you need to schedule each different type of property that you're working on, especially when it comes to snow and lawn care, because there are so many different parameters and different times that are ideal depending on the type of customer. So if you're working with like commercial clients, we go really in depth with uh, whether you're working on like an automotive, uh, like an auto dealership, or if you're working at a corporate office, when you should be working at those types of places, when you shouldn't be, uh, because there'd be cars in the way or there are too many people, those types of things. And same for snow. We lay out also how you plan out snow routes and your lawn routes based on traffic and the time of day and when your uh, clients are requesting their properties be done, especially when it comes to the snow side of things, because the timing is very, very crucial in that element. And it's it's very, very, very in-depth. I mean, for 
even at 297 bucks, even if it was $2,000, just that right there is easily worth, uh, just that training right there is easily worth it because the amount of headaches that it will save you because you won't have to, uh, you won't be out there servicing the wrong properties at the wrong time, opening up your company to some liability where your guys could run into something or somebody or something bad could happen. And right there, that's expensive and easily this investment pays for itself right then and there. So hopefully that answers your question. And it looks like that answers this question. All righty. Cool, guys. Already, thank you guys for coming out. If there are any more questions rolling in, I'll stick around here for about 30 seconds. Otherwise, uh, thanks for coming on out, guys. And we'll see you around Launchpreneurship. Looks like there's just that one spot left to receive the consult call. As well as all the other bonuses. So, already, guys. Thanks for coming on out. And we'll see you around entrepreneurship.